Welcome back to the Buckeyes Get Well. Today is July 17th, 2023. And today we're well fitting doing a meetup with GS6 NS Train videos. After I got back from my Pennsylvania trip, my friend hooked up with me saying, We're meeting up at Dashler first day. But I said, Okay. And now we're here at Dashler, Ohio. Our first train is Iowa 91 from North Baltimore to Chicago to be going with UP in Chicago. Kind of late. Usually you'll go by like afternoon. I guess they don't really have a schedule what time they go through, but usually you go through in the afternoon. I don't know. I don't know the their schedule. Maybe they went out of clues or they don't have clues or uh, most stuff from I don't know. Well, as you can tell, we are catching a local that comes out of Lima. It's a northbound, not a southbound or anything. But, however, we're at South Deschler to capture it with the old CPL South Deschler. And you can tell by the weird horn, it's an SD50-8536 um, what's the weird horn? It's quite weird. Um, I may not like it, but I don't know. It's cool with an SD50 that is actually leading on a local that will come up to dashboard. L318. Now, we got this train that's coming out of the siding. It's B522. He will be coming from Detroit and be taking the Toledo to all the way down to Middletown, Ohio, from the Dayton area. And he's been in the siding. He went by Deschler this morning around 9 a.m. My friend, CSX and his train videos. Caught him going by, and for some reason he went into the siding. I don't know why. Maybe because of he was getting like a crew change or something. But now he either got a crew after L318 went by, and now B522 is now departing for Middletown.
Alright, this is CSX I went 41. He will be coming from No Baltimore to Far Banks, Georgia. That's like in the El Atlanta area. And um Well <laughs> after getting B522, he was given permission to go into the siding, but not just to stop. He would actually go through the siding and to meet L318 onto the main and then let I-141 go by before L318 go further down south to Lima. Well, this is R-192 from Proviso, Illinois, by Chicago area, to North Baltimore, Ohio, and, um, I don't usually have a schedule when he goes by, but in the winter time, he usually goes by during the night. Well, they don't really have a schedule for this, this train to go through here to North Baltimore. They can come through any time, but some, a lot of times they come through during the day. If you could see, that is another train that is coming. This one is a westbound on a Garrett. He would have a clear signal to go through Deschler the Deschler Diamonds. However, this one is the Geo Train. He would come from Walbridge, Ohio. He would be going to Garrett. This is W01.
well. And if you could tell by this train, I don't know if this one's 506 or 560. Either it could be 510. Well, this one is 560 for South Kirk, New York, from Cincinnati, Ohio. And um, this manifest would be quite familiar with this manifest train. There is a lot, there is a couple that take this turn to go east. 506, 510, and even 560. This might be 560 that's taking the curve right now. would actually have another eastbound that is actually going by with mixed animal and mixed ROX and this ROX and animal would have some brand new ROX but it would actually say CPKC but I just think that's kind of cool but not clue, but now it's it's kind of like CPKC. There's a DPU. 3046 is the mid DPU. So 
Well, we do have another eastbound. This one's taking forever. He, they will be doing some track work on a left main, actually right main. So they're doing like 10 miles per hour. That's the new speed restriction for the rest of the day for eastbound. Westbound, I don't know what the speed restriction, but. They're probably doing like 25 or 30. This is 353 from Chicago Clearing Yard to um, Pottersburg, Ohio. He will be taking the connection from Caldea from the Garrett to the Toledo branch at Caldea, Ohio. Well, if you can see, the westbound do not have any speed restrictions. They must have, but they only do 25, but he doesn't look like he's doing 25. He looks like he's doing like 30 to 35 miles per hour. Not sure, but he had four engines on his animal train, so he must be quite long. It must be like a, over like 150 cars or something. Animals can be long these days. Especially if we have four engines on this one.
Well, I-171 snuck up on us. I was in the car chilling, and then her agents didn't know if it was coming, but once I looked up, there it is. Didn't get any pictures of I-171, but at least I got a video of it. That's fine. I see BNSF all the time in my area, especially in the Toledo area. I-171 is going towards Chicago, but it is going to let LA, Los Angeles, so it's got quite a far, so, so once he gets to Chicago, he's going to have a BNSF crew to take out to LA. There goes an, an ethanol heading west towards Chicago with a CSX 55 AC 4400, which is in YN3C livery paint. So that is brand new paint, like factory paint. I don't know when he was out of the factory from Waycross, but at least. We saw one. That's the first one I have seen in quite a while, actually. I don't wear fancy CSX much, so this is the time only. Unless I go to Fox Joya, but yeah. This ethanol has a wine tooth too as leading. Here comes another westbound, Rebecca Deschler, after a failed attempt getting INO at Hamler. I guess it wasn't INO, so I don't know. My friend said it was going north, but it must have gone south on the old DT&I. But this train is I-191 that we saw this morning. Somehow, we're seeing one this afternoon as well. This is the second I-191 I saw today. The one with an elephant style and now the two. The one going forward that's leading. One facing east. But this one's heading for Profiso and Annoyed.
Wow, this one is another animal westbound. This one must be either IO 09 or IO 17, which IO 17 already went today. I didn't know this, but the B&O was on it, but I didn't see any Facebook posts or heritage channels of it, but I just kept it to myself that I knew about it. It went by already. By the time my friend got there, it was already long gone. So I'm guessing this is I-009. Here's M209, he's been sitting north of Deschler, but now he's finally get to move now. It just has a normal Jeevo, it's leading, but the leader, just a Jeevo. M209 comes from Walbridge to Louisville, Kakeki, or Louisville, Kakeki. And I got this scene with M209. M209 give my friend a horn show. Why? He should have got me a horn show. Oh well, I'm not the biggest foamer here. CSX and Strength Videos is the biggest foamer.
actually, if you guys can tell, this is M201 from Wallbridge to Clearing Yard in Chicago, Illinois. This train would be going a little bit quick, actually. I think it's just going the restriction that the speed that it has to go, but I barely got set up for this one. I barely got any pictures and barely get any video, but I got video of this. There goes I-170 going slow because they got the speed restriction. They have to go very slow. They've been doing a lot, lot more work onto the Garrett now. So, I mean, on the track one. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's quite crazy why they're going slow, but... We got a northbound that's gonna take the connection to go east. Here comes B522 going north for Detroit, but he has taken the connection.
so this train would end up being special to both of us because this is 370. 370 used to or usually have a lot of lasers, D-E-F-X lasers on this train. So I don't know why, but it's cool. We finally got one and I got one for photos and video too. Somehow he's gotten restricting East going through Deschler. But this will be our final train at Deschler. So we decided to chase this one eastward. And we would actually have made it like five minutes spare because Hoytsville, he would have a wet signal to stop so here we are at a whim crossing west of Hoytsville let's get to 370 before we actually go home As soon as it's getting dark, there will personally be no way of getting any more videos of 370. It's like 9 o'clock at night, and this is July 17th. This is the last train of the day, and personally, July 18th, we will be back at the tracks, but we will be back at the Iron Triangle. We wouldn't be back at Deschler anytime soon. So we are going back to the Iron Triangle. See y'all there. And welcome back. It's today. It's July 18th, 2023, and we will be at, back at Fostroy, Ohio to meet up with my friend for the last time before he has to go back home. I will be well fitting for like the whole day again. Mm, not really, like not like we did last night. Here's a ways that's going on in Fostroy District. However, the Edelmoto which had a UP ace is winning the ways here at Falstoria. The manifest is slowing down because he has to stop at the east of town due to this animal has to go first. The last time I saw a ways was was the Carload Express 6006. That was actually after the whole day of well fitting the well fest here at Australia back in 2021.
Here comes B523. He will be taking the connection. For some reason today, he is taking the Pemberville and then taking the Garrett and then going on to the Toledo from Dashler. Some reason he's taking the Pemberville today. Yesterday he took the whole length of the Toledo from Perrysburg all the way down to Middletown. Not today. Today he's taking the Pemberville, the Garrett, and then taking the the Y at Deschler and then taking the Toledo. That is what today's B523 is doing today. We have another animal. This one it's 276 for Norfolk, Virginia. He only has GEs of NS. Black and white. Ew. Anyhow, this will be the last animal of the day for NS. That one we saw must have been 28N. So now this one is. 276 bound for Norfolk, Virginia.
Well, this one is I-150. He will be taking the Y for the Pembervale from the Garrett. He is going north towards Detroit, Michiganer. But a ET-44 AH-3453 that is leading this I-150 today. He has one engine up front, and then possibly, well, he has a weird DPU. That's for sure. I did not record this one all, but I did get the front end, and now he comes the weird DPU. It's coming up somewhere, and it's going quite slow taking the Y. Well, no doubt gonna be slow for the curve because he's taking the connection for Detroit and Wall Bridge. This one is I-135. He is going towards Chicago, but the leader has a weird, very weird horn. I remember seeing this with Lake State Railway back in 2021. Now he's leading in a mortal and possibly road freight. Lake State is a road freight, but it's actually like a local from Flint. To Walwich. Yeah. This one I remember. At. I've seen this one like a lot of times with Lake State. Now I rarely see it. But it can tell today I saw it leading on this animal thing. I don't really know what to symbol on this one. 
This is the same train that we saw yesterday at Dashler. Would be Animal, then mixed with Arlax. Don't know what the symbol, but it's a little weird because I don't remember seeing these trains at all with Animal and Arlax. Well, I think one time back in 2020 I seen one, but it's been a while since. But nothing really special on that train. There's my little radar, going 17 miles per hour, which is, what is quite weird for speed, they usually do like 35 around Australia. Well, her, our first grain train of the day. This would actually be, be our first one since it's been a while since the last meetup at Fostoy is here. And this one is, has the NS trainers, so it's not your normal NS one, so. And as grain trains don't come through here sometimes, sometimes they don't even come through here at all. Sometimes they just go up to the Chicago line and go through there, but sometimes you get some action of grainers through here. This one is quite cool. Here comes another train on the NS. This one is L70 that is departing Australia to go out west. Fortunately, I would never, I would not see this again today. Because today, we would only be here at a matter of time to be well fitting with my friend CSX and his train videos. What's leading on this L70? is an SD40-3. They're being rebuilt from the SD40-2s. 6420 would be the leader for today for L70.
will be our final train here at False Joyo for the day. Because my friend, CSX Edge Train Videos, he will be seeing this last train. But I'll describe what the unit that is trailing second in a minute. Alright, I don't know if you knew about this, but I heard about it this morning. IO-10 had 1827 trailing the B&O, even though it's on B&O Whale. Well, that's kind of cool to see the B&O. I needed to see the Baltimore and Ohio, the Heritage locomotive. The Fade is just like 1776, but... I do not care about the space. Everybody's making a big deal out of it. Who cares? Well, it. I don't even care if they do even have the fade on it. At least it's CSX are making heritage units. Better than nothing. Alright, now we're at Mirrorberry. One of my friends ending up tagging along with us. He's having with his dad. He drove with his dad up here. Now we're well fitting the Chicago line for the rest of the day. Here comes 12Q with the NS 8105, the Creamsicle Interstate that is leading this 12Q. He will be coming from Elkhart to Bellevue, Ohio. This would actually be the first train that we would actually see all day on the Chicago line. It would be dead before this thing showed up. I have no clue what is going on. It was dead for like at least another 30 to an hour before this one even show up. Chicago line can be dead during the day. Like, it can have dead times around 12 and 3 o'clock. But, this one would end up being showing up anyway. He was going slow as heck. Like, when I was recording this train, it took him like seven minutes to like, go through. But, with a little bit of editing skills, I made it a little bit shorter. But, the video is still an hour long, but who cares? But, this BNSF Jeevo ET44AH will be leading 
the Animortal to head west. We do have another train that would only take like 30 minutes to come because this would be the last one of the day with the meetup and this is what we're meeting up with my friend John. He ended up coming from Australia. We both came up here just to see the interstate and well fitting the Chicago line. This animal is flying to go west. He has Four engines, two facing west, two facing east. This was a great meetup that we ended up doing up Boston and Middlebury and then Dashville or whatever. However, today's video will be ending off here at Middlebury on the Chicago line. After getting this train, we would have no train after 30 minutes. I would only stay for that long till I have to go back home. But unfortunately, today's video will be enough here. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I was either seeing ya in the Michigan or State, or the Buckeye State Fell, which I always go.